Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today I am going to be showing you how I initially installed the nappy hair extensions. These are the Kinky Course 18 inch clip-ins. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. So here's the hair straight out the packs. Um, it does look like they were double wefted and sewn onto the clip-ins. If you want a full detail of the specs of this hair, please check out my website. I will put the link down below in the description box. As you can see, there's no shedding at all as I run through this hair. And I'm going to use all this hair to install. So if you guys know how to braid, braid your hair down and install these clip-ins, unfortunately I don't. So I just used to pin, twisted my hair and pinned them down as best I could. And I'm starting with the three clips in the back. So I'm doing two three clips, two four clips. I'm going to do the five clip one in the middle and then in the front I'm just doing all of the two clips. Um, around the crown of my leave out and I didn't leave that much of my hair out and I only blew out that section of my hair because I knew like the rest of my hair was going to be covered and they're really easy to install before I install them I just unclip them all just so I can move a little bit faster and then I just go in and clip them where I see fit I'm pretty much doing this as if I was going to do like a u-part wig or something so that's how much hair it is so you can literally use this one set of clip-ins into your entire head which is what I did um, and it worked really really well I had very little leave out as you can tell and I only blew out the front part of my hair and I'm just gonna take whatever hair is left out and I'm just gonna use it to cover up the actual tracks and that's pretty much it guys. These are really, really easy to install. The hair is beautiful. Um, the texture blends in very nicely with my hair. It's about the same length of my actual real hair. Um, so you really can't even tell where the hair starts and stops. It's really nice. I think next time I'm actually going to color the ends so I can have a little ombre, which I've been dying to do, but I've just been scared to do it on my real hair. So anyway, and I probably will film that part. So I hope you guys enjoy. Again, check out my website for complete specs on this hair, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!